from indoor gardening to outdoor gardening. Well, boys and girls and grown-ups, we're here today to do something special. We are going to plant a raised bed garden. Who knows what a raised bed garden is? Who can tell us? Well, you see that frame over there? We're going to put that frame on the ground, so then we're going to put earth in it so that the bed of the flowers and the vegetables is higher. That means that in the spring, the sun will warm it more quickly and they will, the seeds will germinate. And we might even get two crops in one growing season. So, who sees that mound of earth right there? Do you know what that's called? What's it called? Dirt. It's called dirt? Soil. It, soil. And since it's on the top, it's called a, the topsoil. Let's say topsoil. Topsoil. What else do you see over here? Grown-ups, what do you see? Plants. Plants, oh my goodness. Jane's gonna point to a plant and I'll name it. That is a marigold, let's say marigold. Marigold. All right. That is salvia. Salvia. Oh. What about that one? That is rosemary, let's say it. Rosemary. And these right here? And how about this? Lettuce, Lettuce. good. Now, so in our garden, we're going to have some flowers, the marigolds and the salvia. We're going to have a vegetable, the lettuce, and we're going to have an herb, the rosemary. Did you hear Jane say how good it smelled? So the vegetables nourish our body, the flowers give beauty to our eyes, and the herbs give a wonderful scent and flavor to our food. What is it that we put into the bed? The topsoil, right? But you know what, before we do that, we have some compost from our lunch today, some banana peels and things, and I'm gonna ask Robin to get that bucket over there with the foil on it, and we're going to go over to the compost pile. Now, children, you can see that our compost station has two parts. Look at this part. This is fresh compost. It's, it's come from our lunch, things that, was, that were not eaten. But over here is the compost that's been here for a while. It's ready to put into the garden and mix with the topsoil. So let's go ask Hazel if she and Ben would go and get the wheelbarrow. Now, we're going to turn the wheelbarrow so that the compost goes into the topsoil. Okay. Now. We're gonna mix it. We are. Would you like to choose a tool, a hoe or a rake that would mix it? That's it, mix it all up. I think we're ready to dump this mixture of compost and topsoil into the bedding garden. Let's do it. Now, plants need space, right? Because they're going to grow. So I wouldn't put the next salvia right next to it. I would leave some space. How much space? This is our ruler. This is gonna be our garden ruler, like this. And the next plant will go here. put one of the salvia into the ground where the square is. You get to choose which square you want to plant it on. Now, did you notice that the marigolds are shorter? So where would we put those? In the middle or around the edge? You bet. So, follow the yellow brick road. Wherever you see a yellow triangle, 
that's where the marigold goes. Now, this plant is going to take a little larger hole. The rosemary goes at the corners. I told you what we were gonna do so far. I told you. I said, we're gonna put the red tall ones in the middle. And then I told you, we're gonna put the yellow marigolds, the shorter ones around the edge. And then I told you, we're going to put the rosemary in the corners. Now, you get to make the choice. The thing is, just as remember that plants need space. So, if I gave a lettuce plant to Robin, let's watch her and see where she goes. She might have to even walk around the whole bed to find a place where there's space for it. We're not gonna put down the little pieces of paper. We're gonna judge with our eyes Let us put the lettuce in. Now, let's have Miss Fishman show us how we would water it. Because this garden is gonna need some attention, right? Is there room for us to make a circle joining hands? Let's find out. Beautiful. Look wow. at your raised bed garden. Children, you did a fine job of making that garden.